So let's talk about the parallel curved ruler in Clip Studio Paint. Now, if you saw this video a while back where I inked this G.I. Joe cover by Mike Zeck, you noticed that I used like a long curve tool for the, the barrel of the, of the gun. Um, it's the kind of thing I would have used like a French curve when I was inking traditionally back in the day. And it's pretty easy to use and it's really cool. So let's get into that right now. Now let's find where the ruler is located. You hit U on your keyboard, you'll get this tool here, Figure. And Figure has in your subtools Frame, Ruler, Saturation Stream, and Direct. Direct has a lot of these neat tools here, but let's go to Ruler and Special. Now there's also curved rulers, but this is not what I'm looking for. We're looking for Special. Under Special, you have a drop down up here under the tool properties, click on it and you've got multiple curve radial line, which means everything goes to that center point. Radial curve line, which means everything will go to that center point on a curve that you adjust. Concentric circles and guides. Concentric circles I used right in this area here. Let's pick parallel curve and that's how you find that tool. You want to make sure that whatever tool you use, and I believe I have them set this way, enable snapping is checked in the corrections. So to find out, you go, you pick your tool, uh, real G pen, hit the wrench, the subtool details come up, and here are all your options. Go down to correction, and right here at the bottom, enable snapping. I have that checked already. And when you hover above it, it says make this subtool snap to rulers. So without that, what I'm about to do won't work. So make sure that's checked. All right, so first we will create the points. You click and you drag. You gotta have at least two points, sorry, three points to make the curve. And you're, depending on the arc that you're trying to, trying to create, you're going to have to probably leave the canvas like I did, as you can see. So to adjust these points, you just click the operation tool, which is O on your keyboard shortcut, and you just kind of tweak the arc like I'm doing right now. That looks close. All right, and I'm pretty happy with how that looks. So you pick your brush again, make sure that these enabled snapping is checked. And every line you draw will be parallel to the next one. But in this case, on the arc. See the purple? It's kind of hard to see, but it's, that's, the, that's the ruler. Down in the layer section, there's an actual ruler layer you can click on and off. You can accidentally ink on that layer, so be careful and make sure that the ink layer is selected that you want to ink on. I do have a selection made because I know I don't want to go outside the bounds. I don't want to go too far with this. I did not like that because I liked what I did down on the lower part of the barrel. So I erased that and I'm going to do it again to be closer to what I did on the lower part. Sometimes that happens. You, you start something and then you do it again later on and you like how you did it the second time and it looks a little better. So you have to go back and kind of so that everything looks the same. And when you're using a, a ruler like this, the same principles apply with the pen that you use, pressure sensitivity and all that. And that's good to know. Now here I'm going to adjust the ruler. Okay, make sure you have the ruler layer selected and then kind of change, I'm just tweaking it again to match a slightly different angle on the upper part of the barrel that he's holding on to. I like that. And then continue inking it. See that I was on the wrong layer. You can tell because it's it's going to not be as dark. It'll be probably like a not a strong black, more like a 60, 70 percent black if you're on the ruler layer rather than the actual ink layer. Okay, so now that you've seen how I do that, it's very simple to use. You can adjust it for any angle or that you want, just like a French curve set. If you have any questions about this tool. Um, drop me a line down below, that'd be great, and I'll answer it the best I can.
I would really like it if you would subscribe. That actually really helps my channel quite a bit. And like, and don't forget to hit that bell so you get reminded when I upload new videos. All right, well, thanks very much, and I'll see you in another video.